Hello and welcome back to BA Publisher Basics and Beyond. In this lab, we would look at how to use uh, XML Gen to extract XML. So our objective is to see and use XML Gen to extract data. So before we start, as always, there is a zip file available um, under this uh, video which will have all the related files that are tied to this uh, uh, this, this tutorial. So let's go through the basics. So we have the data that's extracted by the concurrent request. The concurrent request can be a PL SQL or RDF for a Java-based concurrent program. So the concurrent program is tied to the short name. The short name is tied to the data definition. The data definition would then tie to the template. And the output post processor would um, would match the XML output from the concurrent program to the template using the data definition. So the data, so we have covered the different data extraction methods. Uh, the most uh, most powerful is RDF based. Then you have the uh, data template. Then I would go with XML Gen uh, because it provides. Uh, uh, so with with, with you know, it's similar to a PL SQL base, but it's more. Uh, uh, it's it's a it's a it's a pack package provided by Oracle to generate the XML. So the XML gen would handle all the uh, XML tag coding and everything. <coughs> so with the PL SQL based uh, extraction, you would the programmer will have to do the coding to generate the tags. So let's look further. So XML gen is a DVMS XML gen is a PL SQL package provided by Oracle to to generate XML data from uh, Oracle database table. So the main difference between XML Gen and the uh, and the direct PL SQL is uh, uh, one is you don't have to the programmer need not be worried about generating generating the tags. The programmer doesn't have to worry about the uh, ampersand and greater than symbol and everything. Um, so there are three main functions in XML Gen. One is get XML. This would generate the uh, XML document. Uh, the main, um, the other two main importance are uh, set row tag, set uh, uh, set row set tag. So this would uh, row set would create the root element. Uh, the row tag would generate the uh, log, uh, the row, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the element root. Uh, well, let, let, if you take it, let's see an example to see further. So if you see here, there is a row set, a row tag, and the get XML. Let's go back to the other page. So you can see get XML. Let's compare get XML. So the get XML is tied to the XML tag. See row a row tag is tied to the uh, row the row details, and the row set is tied to the main tag. So uh, get XML is a simple. Uh, we can the the main thing about the XML gen is we can use this uh, the function in a in a in a, in a SQL. So for example, I I want to generate the uh, XML. I'm, I'm trying to get an XML from the from the per all people table. Um, for now, I'm just going to get the row number. So the syntax for is the select uh, DBMS XML gen get XML. Uh, then you put the uh, put the uh, put the uh, SQL in a, in a code in, in a string, and execute it. So when you execute that code, you would see the output in this format. Uh, let me take it, let me quickly run this uh, in the in instance so I can show it to you. So I just ran it in the instance that I have, and I can see that. Uh, when I ran the uh, this query, I can see that the row and row and row set and the uh, all the columns in the tables are selected and the right tags are generated appropriately. So you can see here that the uh, this SQL generated the XML uh, without any any additional coding uh, from our side. So let's look at another sample. So um, I have this sample. All these sample files are, in, you know, in the in the zip file. You can download and play with it. So I have another uh, another uh, uh, another uh, another uh, declaration or uh, the, the age, uh, XML another uh, PL SQL procedure to generate the XML. 
uh, using XML gen. So it's a uh, it's the same it's the same query, but I have used uh, a slightly different method where we are forcing the row set and the row tag, and we are going to use the cursor to fetch the data as XML and display it. Let's uh, let's try running it and see what happens. So if you look at this uh, declaration, this up. Uh, uh, this code piece of code you can see there's a declaration statement begin and end and uh, in, in between that I have a, 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 a look a, a a handle to store the SQL statement and I have set the row, row tag the row set and row tag then uh, I'm generating the uh, XML uh, into this uh, get you know using this get XML uh, function so when I when I run it I can see that my the tag uh, the tags are set properly and the XML is generated so so this is a simple you know, as you see it's a simple way to generate XML um, I mean you can you know it's a simple way you know if, if there is no multi-level structure um, so there is one risk uh, you know the, we are using a war car uh, in this particular uh, example so there is a limit of 3200 character or 30 uh, 32,000 characters so there's a risk for it so um, you know just uh, you can try with blobs and uh, uh, everything so um, you know you can generate multi-level structure but I haven't tried so far uh, I have other methods of doing it so I never pursued it building the XML structure using XML gen if it's a complex uh, SQL so definitely you can try it out or uh, I can try it out later or in another video probably um, or at least for now I'm not going to try it out but definitely there is an option to try it out so let's do the lab so it's uh, that way it's easier Pr pretty much uh, uh, the process is going to be the same so I have an Excel sheet with all the step-by-step -step instruction um, before we proceed to that let's look at the package that will be used uh, within the concurrent program so here is a, here's a package I'll be used. So we have uh, we have the package, and uh, in this particular lab, we are going to focus on the procedure get CP details. So CP CP details two. So if you look at this uh, package, so it has uh, uh, because it's a concurrent program, you know, you error buffer code. Then you have the uh, the, the name, the, the execution code, the output mode as the parameters. Uh, you have certain uh, predefined uh, variables that are required. I have a cursor here, which is uh, to, which is to build the data. So unfortunately, we cannot use the cursor directly. So uh, I have to build a query in an X query. So I'm building the same query from the cursor into this uh, into this variable. So once the uh, cursor is built. Um, so we are going to use the uh, context field to t tie the tie the SQL to the context. We set the row tag, the the row set and the row tag. Then you execute the query, and uh, you are looping through and, ge and generating the XML. Uh, basically, we are displaying the XML at this point. We are using the XX print to uh, fun uh, print function to display it. So uh, as I said, this with the XML gen, it's simpler and easier to generate the XML. Uh, but I haven't tried the multi-structure uh, formatting for it. So once the package is compiled, uh, so let's go to the uh, uh, the let's go and define the executable. So here also, I'm going to leverage the uh, previous uh, uh, exe executable that that I've used so I'm going to rename this uh, executable file name to the new uh, the, the 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 new concur the package or new package and procedure so nothing else is changed uh, nothing else is required here just to make sure that the executable is the same as the executable that was uh, tied to the concurrent pro to the package uh, make sure the parameters are defined uh, there's no changes in the data definition per se. There's no template definition. We are going to see the row XML. So uh, because there's no because because we are leveraging the same uh, program, we are going to go ahead and run the concurrent program. So we can use these parameters. Once the program is completed, click output. 
you can see that the XML is generated with the uh, right uh, tags. So that's pretty much uh, the you know that's pretty much the uh, XML gen based uh, data data XML generation. It's simple. Um, so, but the only thing I haven't used uh, it, you know, used it. I, I primarily use it for building simple or simple reports. Um, there are other um, uh, tools which are available to build the templates faster, or to build the XML faster, mainly the data templates. So, uh, before we proceed, before we close this chapter, let's look at the uh, Excel file that has the step-by-step -step instruction for the lab. So if you see here, you can see um, the first step would be to compile the package. Of course, I'm assuming you'll have a working uh, instance. Then you go ahead and uh, register your concurrent, uh, concurrent program. If you if you don't if you don't want to go through registering the concurrent program, you could always skip it to the uh, if you if if you have done the previous labs, you could go ahead and uh, uh, process step follow this process to modify the. Uh, uh, modify the concurrent program to uh, to the new concurrent um, execute modify the executable to the new concurrent program. So, like I said, it it uh, the main advantage of using um, using the XML gen is the simplicity, and uh, unlike PLSQL, the programmer doesn't have to be burdened with uh, managing the tags uh, and everything. So for, we will look at next. We will look at the data templates, which is one of the one of one of my preferred way of doing the XML generation. So so far we have uh, we have looked into or we are looking through. And so in this series we are looking at how to generate the XML, how to how to extract data from your database. So hope to see you next for uh, looking at the data templates.